Hi class, this is the second of a series of reviews for the final exam. Today we're going to be talking about confidence intervals. Now first you have to identify that the problem is a confidence interval problem. Basically we're looking to estimate either a population proportion or a mean and the wording will give it away. Here construct a 95% confidence interval. Down here construct a 99% confidence interval. They're asking you to make a confidence interval. Also, as opposed to the sample size problems, you'll actually have a sample. Here we have a sample of 10 values. Here we have a sample of 200 students, 23 that were left-handed. So you'll have sample information to work with. You didn't have that in the sample size problems. Once that's under control, it's back to the same problem. Is this for a proportion or a mean? Now in the first one, it says that it's for the mean time, but also take a look at the data that we have. We have a set of numerical data. Numerical data, again, associated with means. You will either have a set of numerical data or a summary of that. And by summary, I mean sample mean, standard deviation, and size. Either of those can uh, show up. Now here we've got data to work with. In a moment when we go to StackCrunch, we'll simply type that in one column and use the appropriate menus to get the confidence interval. Now for the other problem, this is for a proportion, it says so, but also we're talking about categorical data. We have a sample made up of this many out of that many, X out of N. If you think about gathering the information for this problem, you would go up to a college student, you would ask them if they are left-handed, and your answer is either gonna be yes or no. Categories, categorical data lead to proportion intervals, not for means. Okay, uh, things that we need to make note of here, the confidence level for the first problem is 0.95, and we're gonna be working with data. In the second problem, the sample is 23 out of 200, and the confidence level is 0.99. That's all we need to get into StackCrunch. By the way, we do have to check conditions for this first problem, because we have data. We have to make sure there are no outliers. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. I've already typed the data into StackCrunch and I've made this available to you through the group page in StackCrunch. The title is Zoom Final Review and the headers for each column let you know which problem in the review sheet you're working with here. Problem three, this times. So to make this the uh, confidence interval, I can check the conditions at the same time and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Under stat, this is under T stats, one sample with data. I pick the column containing the data. I switch from hypothesis test to confidence interval. And the level for this problem was 0.95. Optional graphs and tables, I wanna see the box plot. The box plot will show me if there are any outliers. Then I know that I can, if there are some, I can't make that interval. Press compute. And before I take a look at this information, let's check the graph first on the next page. Notice there are no outliers. So the upper limit and lower limit are listed. 382.4 minutes and 399.6 minutes. Moving on to the other problem, now we work under proportion, stat, proportion, one sample with summary. Proportions are typically summary. The only way it would be data is if you had a column that listed yes, no, 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 yes, no, no, all in one column of 200 cells. The number of successes, the number that were left-handed were 23. The number of observations, that was 200. Switch the confidence interval switch that out to 0.99 for the level and compute. Typically, I like to go to four places for these limits. In, stack, in my math lab, sometimes we only go to three, but it's 0 0.0569 for the lower limit and 0 0.1731. Let's get back to the screen I was writing on. And I've got the two intervals listed, but on your Final, you need to write the sentence that goes with it. So the first one would be something like, we are 95% confident that the mean time for
for all puzzles is between 382.4 and 399.6 minutes. Take a moment, pause the video if you have to, and think about what the sentence should be for the second problem on the screen. We are 99% confident that the proportion of all college students that are left-handed is between, and then we list those two values, 0 0.0569 and 0 0.1731. Okay. So those are confidence intervals. Again, look for it to say, construct a confidence interval. Look for the sample data information to be given. For a mean, you're either gonna have numerical values or a summary, mean, standard deviation, and size. For proportion, you're gonna have one set of this many out of that many. Good luck.